Hi, hey, how's it going? My name is Lauren May and welcome to my channel. As you can see by the title, today's video is going to be a types of annoying customers. So I work in a fruit and veg shop and I'm on checkout most of the day and so I encounter obviously a lot of customers and I put together this list because I got really frustrated at a few of them on my last shift and I thought that I would share with you these situations because maybe you can relate, maybe you're a checkout chick, checkout chick, or maybe you have been this customer and you can kind of laugh back at how annoying you were so let's just get into it I just need to say that at where I work I um so we don't have those like rotating like benches like you just put your food on and then I scan it and then I put it on the next side the first one that I that I have here is I get really annoyed when you're serving a customer and you they've got their like last bit of fruit and veg or whatever uh, on the just left to my left and then you're like scanning them and then the person behind them decides to put all of their stuff like right next to theirs and we don't have those like dividers at my work so like you kind of get really confused at whose is who and like because you're just like scanning and trying to have a conversation with like your customer and then you're being wary of the customer behind them you're kind of like and so every now and then you're gonna be like wait is this yours or is this theirs and it's just really frustrating and just wait your turn like don't put your stuff up too early my bench isn't big enough for that so that's number one number two is so we we have trolleys obviously um where you put your food in and we have like these really shallow ones and so like people who only have like a few bagfuls of groceries put their stuff in there and then maybe they only fill up like two like enviro bags full but what's really annoying about it is that they I put the two bags like ready to be you know walked away with and then while they're paying and they're like oh yeah that's cool that's all through and then they take their two bags and then their trolley's left right there still in line while there's still people behind them or there might not be but then when people come they're just like why is this trolley here and I can't necessarily get out of the till because there's someone there so it's just really awkwardly like placed right there and it's just like well I can't do anything about it they can't do anything about it until I'm allowed to like leave because there's not a line and so it's just it just just makes things so much difficult like take your trolley with you to the thing outside like it's on the way to your car like why can't you take it with you uh, it just it gets very frustrating it happened to me on my last shift and I just take your trolley with you <laughs> Another thing that I find kind of annoying and a little bit rude, but I mean, I just work here, right? Is when you have a customer who either has a whole heap of stuff in their trolley, like it's mountains full, or they just have like a few things, but you like, you have to kind of, anyway. So, and they're on the phone the whole time. Like they literally have answered a call while they are talking to you. Like you haven't even said hello yet. It's like walked up to you, answered a phone call and they're having a conversation and you're like, well, part of my job is to be like hi how's it going but I can't say that because they're on the phone so it's like I feel like I'm being really rude because I'm not talking to them but they're being really rude because they're talking to someone else and then it's like when it's time to pay and they're not like hung up yet and I go like do you want to pay by cash or card like I feel rude interrupting their conversation but it's like you can't go anywhere without like paying so it's like cash or card and I have to kind of whisper it but they have to know that I'm talking to them and then it's just like oh sorry I'll ring you back which is nice some people do that but other people stay on the phone and be like hang on a minute and then just like go like this while they put in their password or whatever they have to do and that's just it's just really annoying like common courtesy answering the phone and be like hang on I'm at the checkout I'll call you back or like something like that would be a lot more easier than just being on the phone the whole time I find that person really annoying but anyway so another thing like I said before a part of my job is to be really friendly and to you know start up a conversation like hi how's it going how's your day been and it gets really annoying when all you get is oh fine oh good oh it was alright and then the conversation ends there and all of my efforts were like oh well so are you doing anything this weekend oh not really it's just like I know you probably don't want to talk to me but I have a job to do and part of my job is to be really nice to you does that make sense <laughs> so yeah just just try and at least enjoy the conversation that I have to have with you if not if I don't talk the whole time I feel really rude and I feel like you know I don't want to be there so or I feel like you think that I don't want to be there but really like you know sometimes I have really enjoyable conversation with customers but these ones where they just don't really talk to you is is kind of annoying the next one is so annoying and I know it happens not just at where I work but I know I've seen it in other places as well is where they're paying for something and um, I've either done something slightly wrong or they've done something slightly wrong so maybe they put in their password wrong or they had like we don't take American Express at my work so maybe they put that in or 
whatever it may be and I've told them I've like look this is how it is like you need to do this or you know whatever it may be or this is the price of this product even though it's scanning a different price or whatever the situation may be but then it's the customer that that refuses to take what I say seriously and then asks to see my manager who is doing really important work at the back and then I have to ring for a person to go get them and then for them to come back and then it's really annoying when my manager says the same thing that I have told the customer but the customer won't believe me until my manager has told them the same thing and it's just like can't you just take my word for it because you're wasting all of our time here just going to get my manager who is telling you the same thing does that make sense another thing that is really annoying is when so most of the checkouts you like put your stuff on the left side and then I scan it and then I put it in a bag on the right side but I get really frustrated when a customer comes like right through the checkout and then puts all their stuff on the right side and then gives me a bag to put all their stuff on the right side and so I have to awkwardly like get it from this side scan it and then put it back and like sometimes I can be like oh sorry I need to it, it'll be easier for you to put things on my left so I can scan it through and most of them are fine by that but it's it's like the small basketers or people who have like big bulky items but not a lot of stuff and so they put it on this side and I have to awkwardly like scan it once and then put it in the back it's just really awkward and annoying can't you see that there's a flow to the flow to the traffic <laughs> anyway I get really annoyed and now the days with like paywave and pay pass and like just tapping and going it I've I've had a lot of customers who who pick up their stuff like before like after I've packed it all but before they've paid it so it's holding it in one hand and then they whip out their card and while it's still saying processing they go they walk out the store it might not have gone through but yet but they're just like oh it's fine I don't want a receipt so they just walk out but the transaction not might not actually have gone through the whole time and I've actually had a customer who walked out of the shop before it's processed and it's declined so I've had to run and get them and then tell them to come pay for it again which is just stupid like just wait for it to say transaction approved like how hard is that it's like three seconds of your life I don't understand <laughs> thank you for watching this video I'm sorry it was a bit of a ranty video but I thought it was a relatable type of video and I just wanted to uh, say my piece so if you did like it please give it a thumbs up that would mean a lot to me and to know that people are watching my videos would be really great so please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please click that subscribe button just down there and then you can see every time I upload a video which is once a week thank you for watching and remember don't forget to hug someone today bye